So to start this process, all you're gonna need is a dongle, which I'll link in the description. This was like 10, 11 bucks off of Amazon. You're gonna need the Nissan data scan software. I don't really know if y'all can see it on here, but that, I think it was like 40 bucks or something of that nature. And all that's gonna allow you to do is to reprogram the key. And then you're also gonna need the key or keys that you're programming. You have to do all of them at once if that's what you are um, trying to do. So if you have multiple keys, make sure you get them all in one setting. So right now, I have the new ECU on the ground, the old one's still behind the kickboard. I'm going to go ahead and swap them out really fast and then see, or not see, but swap them out really fast and then move on with the process to show y'all what to do next. So bear with me. When you're doing this, make sure anytime you're doing anything electrical, disconnect the battery. That's number one. It prevents all possible mistakes from happening. So that's out of the way. So I went ahead and swapped the ECU. I'm about to go ahead and reattach the negative terminal. And then I'm going to show you the symptoms that I'm having with this car when you swap the ECU. So you'll be able to validate if this is the same problem that you have or not. Okay, so the car does have power now. And then when you try to start it, first you'll notice that this red light right here will turn on. I think on 350s, it's up on the dash somewhere up there. But that red light right there will turn on. And what that is, is letting you know that the mobilizer is not going to allow you to start the vehicle. If I try to start, it's just going to, but it won't turn over. So, you know, don't kill your battery continuously trying. If that red light is on, I'm about to show you the fix to it. So the next step in this, you have to find the code that is on your BCM. And to get to your BCM, I have to get this out the way. Some cars, this is in the way mine and it snaps right out and then you're going to come where this fuse panel is and get that popped out Ugh. once it's popped out you will be presented a tag label on the label it's the very bottom one it should be a five character code you're going to take that code and then input it into the software or onto the application that's also linked in the description and what this is going to do is decode that and then give you a pin number a four digit pin number once you decode that you're gonna make sure first and foremost that you um, update the drivers for this because if you don't update the drivers for the um, obd2 scanner it's just not going to pick up on your computer update those when you do you hit connect and then it'll tell you if it's connected down here right here you click work support work support you're gonna um, mobilize a key i'm not going to show you mine of course Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And your car should come alive. I'm not seeing any codes yet, but I'm about to grab my code reader and see what's what. It is idling extremely high. All right, I got some good and some bad news. Good news is I was able to get the key programmed to the vehicle. So all in all, that process does work. It is thorough and everything. If you follow the steps accordingly, you can reprogram a key from just doing that by itself. But it did not fix my problem that I'm having with my car. So. With that being said, I hope that video did y'all justice. You know, I tried to get straight to the point in that. And uh, I guess the search for the cure for Geneva still on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all been rocking with me since the beginning, you know that personally, like I'm defeated inside. I am. And I'm to the point and brink of just selling it and finding something else. But Y'all know it's been a struggle. If anybody has any suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. But I think I'm just at wit's end with it, to be honest with you. So, uh, should be pretty interesting. Life has been full of interesting turns and events here lately. And uh, I'm kind of excited to see what the future will bring. You know what I'm saying? I used to dwindle on the past. I used to dwindle on Geneva. You know what I'm saying? But it gets old sometimes. And I'm on to new ventures and new experiences. So with that being said, 
some interesting content coming in here soon. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. And it's just Jay. I mean, just Jay? Why well, I ain't use that in a minute? This is Jay Lo signing off. Peace.